Hi friends, how are you? Happy New Year, if I haven't had a chance to say that to you yet. Um, this morning I am making ham and split pea soup because yummo, right? So I made a ham for New Year's. Let me show you what I've got going here. I've got celery and onions and carrots, French Trinity, going in a pot. I have, and I generally slice, if it is not a spirals ham, um, and it is just a carve your own ham, I don't worry about being so precise about my slicing so that I get a ton of meat still on the bone. I did this ham with uh, Worcestershire sauce, uh, brown, a little brown sugar, and regular yellow mustard, nothing fancy. Now, what I'm doing is I've got two big carrots, three stalks of celery, and a big old ham bone, and they are going in the pot, and they are going to cook for quite a few hours. And it's about six, six cups of water. And they're just gonna cook, and I'm just gonna leave it. Later on, I'm gonna show you my spices, and I've, although it's split pea, I'm also gonna put some red lentils in there. And then I've got a ton of green split peas, and um, I'll let you see how it goes. But this is basically just gonna stew for a couple of hours. The meat's gonna come off the bone, then I'm gonna slice it up, add it back in, and um, this is gonna be yummy. And I will probably freeze part of this um, because we won't need it all. I might check to think and see if there are a couple of folks who might need a meal. And if they do, then I'll split it and share it with them. And if they don't, then um, in the freezer it'll go and it'll feed us later. But that's the start of the ham soup. You're not going to have to check back in because it's going to happen right away. But let's see what happens. Well, as you can see, some things have changed. And I have a giant pot of really rich broth. And I have a big ham bone with some ham on it. And we're gonna take this baby out and cut off some of the meat and keep going. Okay, so first things first, let's get the ham bone and ham off of the bone. So this is gonna come right in here. I'll slice some of that up. You can see, look at the color of this. It's so golden. So that's great. Now, I've got uh, a cup of split pea. I've got some red lentils, and I kind of gave them just a rough chop. So these guys are gonna go in um, to the carrots, celery, and onion. Then I've got garlic powder, garlic salt, onion. I'm gonna put a little tarragon, a little thyme, and some chives. And that is going in as well. And we're gonna bring, it's been on low for probably the last hour and a half. So now I've got those herbs in and the lentils and the split pea, and I'm gonna bring those back up to a boil. And from there, I am gonna cut up the ham and added back in. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. Okay, moving along. This is not a quick fix. This is a slow soup. And um, I mean, you can do it quickly if you're gonna do one of those. Um, I know they have like little, I'm holding my hands like this because this is about how thick and how wide the split pea soup uh, mixes are. And they come with the right amount of split pea and the right amount of lentils and all the spices all in there. Um, but as usual, I prefer to do it myself and I prefer this kind of just slow, 
cooking all day long um, when it comes to soups. So here we are. I'll check back in with you. So I have added all the spices, as you saw. I've added um, a quarter cup, not a quarter cup, a third of a cup of peas, a third of a cup of lentils, and then off of the bone of the ham, I got probably a cup of uh, ham, and then I sliced it into fine, kind of small bites, and so, um, now I'm just gonna bring this up to a boil. And once it's at a high boil and just really going, I'm gonna lower it down to low and then I'm just gonna let it cook um, probably for at least an hour. And then we'll see from there. I'm hoping there's cornbread in the pantry. And if not, I might send Peyton to um, Target or ShopRite to get some because there's nothing better than a good cornbread muffin um, to go with some split pea ham soup. It is a cold day in New Jersey and um, I wish that I was going to get to give you a big bowl of this because oh, it's going to be good. And it doesn't look like I have made, you know, enough for an armor, army, but there's definitely a good helping here for you. Friends, this is what's gonna be for dinner. What's your favorite soup? What do you love to make when it's cold? Comment below. I'll show you what it looks like when we're totally done, but hang tight. It's beginning to boil. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna let it do that for a couple minutes, then I'll bring it back. Tune, stay tuned. Okay. While we're waiting for that to boil, let's talk about broth for a minute. Um, I didn't need a broth for this because I knew that the ham was going to make it so rich. That's really what I was doing with the ham bone in there. But um, I made a turkey soup the other day um, for a family who has some COVID going on in their house. And um, a little turkey orzo soup, which was pretty yummy. Um, with some of the broth that I had done for Thanksgiving, but this is partially how I get my broth in the fr freezer going. And when I use a packet, I try to move back towards a packet of broth. So what I'm doing is I um, bought some new celery for snackage for myself and to make sure that I had celery for this soup. But, um, we don't eat a lot of broccoli in our house. Peyton doesn't like broccoli, or broccoli. Peyton doesn't like celery. And so we're not having it. I'll have it for wings or crudite or for a snack. But um, I'm not generally going to use the top. And I'm not going to use the, um, uh, the toppy parts of this. But I am going to put it in a freezer ziplock and then put it in my freezer so that the next time I have a chicken or I have chicken bones or I um, bake a turkey, the next time I have a big poultry dish that I'm gonna make stock from, or if I need a vegetable stock, because I very often do curries with vegetable stock, um, I will take all of the frozen bags of onion peels, onion caps, uh, the part that I didn't cut up, and put into something but that still got some onion on it. These bags will go into a pot with water, um, maybe a bouillon cube, maybe not, salt and pepper, a little oil, and I will let those you know cook for a couple of hours and then that will be um, the base for my broth for whatever will be my next dish or whatever will be my next soup. And especially in the winter, I am doing that kind of probably every three weeks. And so here's a good helping of celery tops that will make a really good broth later on. Okay, this guy is coming down, but he had a good boil. Gonna put the lid on and leave it at low for an hour. Soup, soup to be. Hi friends. So the soup, look, it is really chunky 
and is really good. There's so much flavor in here. But, and this would be totally great to serve just as it is. But I am gonna use my Immersion Blender. First time I had one of these was in Scotland. It's not a big deal. You just put it in and it just blends everything together. Let's try this again. that comes with it but um, and you want to be really careful because it is really hot the soup is really really hot and you don't want to burn yourself and you don't want to create a backwash because that would be bad um, and if you don't have one of these then you could use a regular blender but definitely make sure that you pour small amounts in and that you uh, ventilate it and put it cover it the top of the blender with a towel so that it doesn't explode and so that it doesn't get on you but just that, that quick. Look at how smooth it is. It still has a couple of little chunks in it. You can see where the carrot is. You can see some of the split pea here and there, but it is gorgeous. Oh, there's a piece of ham. Now, that piece of ham makes me think most of the ham is now blended. What I did do is I didn't use all the ham that we had left in the soup. Um, I cut all the soup, all the ham I wanted off of the bone, but I also took some of the um, ham slices and I chopped them up into small pieces of ham and I froze them in small, probably, I'm gonna say half cup, cup serving, excuse me, hiccups. <laughs> I have the hiccups. Um, a drink of water so oh the hiccups um, what are your favorite hiccup uh, remedies so they're now in these little freezer bags of ham I can use those in quiches I can use them in egg bakes I can use them in a casserole I could throw them back into the soup if I wanted to have it have chunks of ham in it I don't think I do I think I want it just to be this kind of golden mustard color. And um, I think that's gonna do it. It's really thick. This is gonna help it to thicken up a little bit. And um, this is what's for dinner. Love from New Jersey, love from the Dixons. Stay warm, friends. Oh yeah, yummo. Here, let's get in there and take a look at this. Can you see? Bon appétit.